We got some more camshaft core tech for you, so hang loose. All right, so uh, we had a customer that sent in a, a brand new camshaft and he, he had some concerns. So he wanted me to look at it and check some things. So the, this is a Pontiac roller. This core here is the exact same core as this core, same part number. So what has happened here is the company ground a solid roller on a hydraulic roller core. So this core is part number uh, 313600. And if we look right here in the core catalog, we can see that the core is 270 at 50 with 350 lobe lift, 108 intake center line and 112 exhaust center line. So that's 110 plus two is what that ends up being. So keep in mind that 350 lobe lift. So I, I just run it on the cam doctor to verify. So if we look, it's 426 lobe lift on the intake and 406 on the exhaust. And it's 2, 55 on the intake duration and 263 on the exhaust. So the duration's in the window, but the problem is the lobe lift is just extremely too big. So I done a little measuring. The base circle on the intake, and I made me some notes here. The base circle on the intake is one inch and 25 thousandths. The base circle on the unground core is one inch, 250 thousandths. So that's a reduction of base circle, 225 thousandths, basically seven thirty seconds of an inch. And so what has happened is it's all the way, if you can see, like you can see there's the factory core material. And I mean, it's all the way down into the actual, you know, body of the cam. So what happens when you do that is, you know, if you can imagine, um, my horrible drawing, I should have already had something drew out. So, you know, you got a heat treat line that's following the, the profile, you know, and it's evenly spaced all the way around. Well, when you, when you take the whole bottom off of the cam, now there's no heat treat down here. It's just it's just all gone. And so we'll, we'll go over to the Rockwell tester, but I tested it and it should be pretty close to 60 Rockwell. And on the base circle side, this core is 30, which is the base material. I mean, the base material would be 25 to 30 Rockwell. So, and then, and then you know, as it comes up, you know, the side, it's just, you know, it just fades out into nothing, the heat treat line. So it's just super thin right where it needs to be the most. Because obviously, you know, right here is, you know, the highest velocity area and the heat treat depth is going to be just, you know, it's going to look like a crescent moon. It's just going that tapering down to absolutely nothing. So it's not going to live long with it like that. But let's let's walk over to the uh, to the Rockwell tester and and I'll just show you what it says. And that's like 34. So, uh, and I've checked a couple of spots, and like I say, most of my check was like 30, 32. So, and let's check the uh, the unground core, and I'll show you what it says. And see, that's 50 
on the and sometimes I think this material is 1055 I think the 8660 stuff it'll be on up in the 58 56 58 uh, but I think this is 1055 so but still you know you can see that that the bulk of the heat treat is just gone and, and we always you know we always wonder well well how uh how deep is the heat treat and like i say they took 255 thousandths off of the base circle and i mean that's I mean, 255 thousandths that's a lot so you know you can just you know we always said on most induction stuff the heat treat's about 200 deep and you still need, you know, even though the heat rate's 200 deep, you can't go 200 deep. It's like it's like building a brick wall. Well, if it's four foot tall, but it ain't but two inches thick, and you know, even though it's a brick wall, it's got to have something behind it to. to so you got to have some depth to the heat treat left for it to live. So just keep that in mind. You know, if you see something like that, I mean, you get a cam and the whole base circle is gone like that. I mean that's a red flag that you probably you probably want to want to look into to, to what's going on there because that's not how it should be done. The spool should be the proper size for the job you're doing, you know. And if you're gonna do 425 low lift, the core should be, you know, already roughed in at, at 400 or 425, and and then it you know it looks like it should. All right, hopefully that was helpful. Thanks so much. We'll see you on the next one.